Welcome back to Insurance Agent Training every Monday. I mean, and I'm talking consistent with it, every Monday, two o'clock Central Standard Time. I get excited to get in here for Insurance Agent Training. I get excited to help agents. We get so much positivity coming our way from agents. I just got a, uh, just had a message from a comment, I believe, from an agent, Nick, who said, hey, I'm excited for a call to close. I just bought it. I want to be a part of the best training in the insurance industry. And I'm like, man, dude, I mean, that makes me feel good. I love it. I love helping agents. That's my mission. And that's why insurance agent training is so special to me. We got a big topic to talk about today, man. And I don't want it to just be clickbaity, right? I, I want you to actually know how you could possibly want to do this. When I talk about call to close, I want to talk about call to close real quick because if you ever think about making something like this, and you start, make, start, start talking about make, possibly making like seven figures. You can't do that without being great at this business. So if you don't feel like you're great at this business, then you need my call to close live training. It's this Thursday, five o'clock central. I'm talking like 75 hours from now, 74 minutes and 74 hours and 56 minutes to be exact. And I'm excited to spend some time with you for three hours, everything from the call to close. It's going to help you be successful. It's going to help you be better. So go to CodyAskins.com to make sure you get that. I'm excited to spend some time with you because I want you guys to make seven figures in this business. I also got a, 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 a uh, it's, been, it's on our YouTube and Facebook. If you haven't seen it, you got to go back and watch it. My, my buddy Michael Irvin sent me a video this morning to help you guys make a decision and commit to being an a station. He's excited to deliver a jam-packed, passionate speech on how to get great at your craft. And he's going to be doing that at the Statler in Dallas in July. All right, so here's what I used to think. So here's what I, here's what I thought, right? Because we all have the wrong information. Here's what I thought. When I used to think about it, like for instance, most people don't know this. Most people don't know this. I had a goal when I first got in the insurance business. When I first got in the insurance business, my goal was to make, was, was honestly, my goal was, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm in college, I'm, in, I'm, I'm playing basketball. My goal at an early age was I wanted to be a millionaire by the age of 30. Can they say that all right? Yeah. Man, I love this new board because normally I would never better write that small previously. Millionaire by the age of 30. That was a private goal for me. Most people didn't know that. I didn't share that a lot, so I'm sharing with you on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to share your goals right now in comments below on Facebook and YouTube, I'm going to read them and I'd love to read your goals. That was my goal. Past tense was. I checked that one off the bucket list. Here's what I used to think, because when I used to think, okay, Cody, how do you become a millionaire by the age of 30 in the insurance business? I didn't want to go outside the insurance business. I want to stay inside the insurance business. I love it. My father's been in the business. My father started this business literally three months before I was born. He's been in the business 28, I'm, I'm, I'm 28 years and seven months, right? He's been in the insurance business 28 years and 10 months. That's crazy. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be. I don't want to leave this business. I want to be a part of this business. So that's why. Okay. So so I, so I say. Okay. Here's what I thought. The things that I. Here's what I thought you had to do to be a millionaire, in the insurance business. All right. I thought you had to. I thought you had to do one of these three things. And actually, and I think that you have a better chance of being successful in the insurance business at the stuff I'm going to share with you later than this stuff I used to think. I used to think you had to be a financial advisor. Gosh, was I freaking wrong. I mean, I was like 19, 20, 21 years old. I thought that, right? I just thought that. I also thought that you had to like, you know, own or be the CEO for a insurance company. And when I say insurance company, I'm talking about like an actual carrier that sells, that, 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 that obviously has a product to sell, right? Or 
I thought that you had to like, I thought you had to like, I would say I probably thought that you had to like own a call center after like dozens and you know just 20, 30 years. Like I thought you just had to grind it out. Like I never thought you could be a seven figure earner selling Medicare. You can. I never thought you could be a seven figure earner by going and selling life insurance in the field. You can. I never thought you could be a seven figure earner by you know selling over the phone with just, your, just yourself or even with a small team. You can. Um, like if I had a goal for 12 months to be like, hey, I'm gonna write seven figures of premium over the phone by myself. I could do it. Uh, I also used to, I, 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 you know what I mean? Like you start talking about these things. This is what I thought. And it couldn't be further from the truth, but I, I didn't know. Like you don't know what you don't know. When you guys are like, hey, I don't know that I'm gonna get value from this call to close live training. You don't know what you don't know. I can promise you, you're going to get value. And there's things that I'm going to touch on that you don't know that are worth $97 to know, right? So that's what I thought. That's like, okay, that's what I thought when I talked about being, but when I talked about making seven figures by the age of 30, those are things that I like thought I had to do. I just, I didn't know any better. Like, and this one, this one I didn't think till later. Like this one was, this one wasn't any, like early on, these were the things that I just thought. And I, I mean, yeah, maybe you can, but you don't have to. Like, I don't want to be a financial advisor. I don't want to, you know, be the CEO of an insurance company or own my own. I mean, like, like, I mean, maybe I do want to own an insurance company. You know what I mean? Maybe I want to start my own one day. Who knows? But like, you can make seven figures without having to do those things. So this is what I thought. I will also want to break down the numbers because you guys know I'm huge on numbers, right? And I'm gonna get it to the penny. I'm gonna even use a cal. I, I can come up with the numbers on my own, but I'm gonna use a calculator because I want to get down to the penny. All right. So a million bucks, right? Like, and, and this is the stuff that most people in our industry aren't talking about, dude. If you, you want to get there, you got to know. If you want to get there, you have to know. That's eighty-three thousand three hundred and thirty-three dollars. And 33 cents. This was per. This was for the year. This was for the month, right? That's about a quarter of a mil, a quarter. We can go ahead and put that up because you know. But surely you guys can. You know, it's surely you guys can go ahead and do the math. 500k over six months. It's 250 thousand per quarter. And it's $83,333.33 per month. So over 12 months, okay? You say, okay, well, let's break it down even further. If you take, and you could make it a fourth of this, but then you're only taking into account 48 weeks, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take into account 52 weeks. Because some of these things you would work, you would just always be working. Like, because you may have a team. So let's do 52 weeks just for the fun of it. I'm doing this, I'm doing this on purpose. So if, if you divide it by this, divided by 52 weeks, here's what you get. $19,230.76. That's per week. I got your attention now though. I know I do. I know a lot of agents that have made 19K in a week. And if that seems foreign to you, then you need to know more. You need to dive in more. You need to be more confident. You need to be more confident in your ability and you need to know the things that, because you don't know what you don't know. That's why we love doing this stuff because we want you to know. You have to know to be able to be a solid, solid insurance agent. So now that we broke down the numbers, I want to start to, ask you, because I believe everyone should make six figures. I believe everyone should be able to eventually make seven figures in this industry. And I think it's all about following the right formula. So you say, okay, Cody, let's mention some normal, like, like can, let, let's mention some normal ways that you could make, here's what I think now, right? Here's what I thought. 
when it come down to like, you know what I mean, ma making seven figures, I didn't even know this early on. So I'm, I mean, like, I just thought you had to be a financial advisor or be a, like a CEO or something. I didn't, you know, I didn't know I was 19. Here's what I, here's what I don't think now. Let's get certain. Here's what I know now. Okay. You guys ready? Here's what I know now. I know that you say, well, okay, Cody. Most people think you would need some downlines. Am I right? You need your own, have your own agency. Okay, that's fine. Your own agency slash downlines. Okay. Maybe. Could, could you do it doing that? Right? Yes. Okay. Cool. We've established that. You could do it this way. I know plenty of people that do. I know people that are not even 30 yet to do that. Okay. Could you... Could you do it by selling by phone? Even solo or with a team. Either way. You have your own, you do it by yourself with some openers, you do it by yourself. You have a team of, of closers, you have a full-blown call center, whatever. Can you do it selling by phone in this industry? I know plenty of people that do. So yes, the answer is true. D Dylan's giving you a better vantage point here. Thank you, buddy. So, so is that true? Like we can agree on that. You can do it that way too, right? Okay, yes. How about field sales? Can you make seven figures going out and just selling in the field? Again, either so low or with a team. Yeah, you can. I mean, I know of agents that have done seven figures by themselves selling a variety of insurance products. Any insurance product that you can think of, you can get to where you can make seven figures selling it. Everybody's always like, hey, you got to sell this insurance product or this one or Cody, I only sell this or Cody, I only sell this or, or Cody, you need to sell this. You can sell any of them. Like any product. This is what I know now that I didn't know then. Most people, maybe, maybe you don't know. Any product, any way. We're in such a online, digital, advertising, attention getting, trust issue, like, you know, environment in this industry. You can make seven figures any way you want, period. If you just do a few things. Obviously, there's a goal. Right? That's a goal. You got to break down the numbers. There's that one. And the third thing is you've got to, I think that the, 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 there's four, you got to pick a niche and then you got to pick a way that you're going to sell to that niche. Like I like being, I love all the insurance products, but it's easier to succeed when you start focusing in on, on at least a type of client. Am I right? Like they say riches are in the niches. You start to focus in. It's easier to run in your lane and be great in your lane and be the best in your lane and be the greatest in your lane in the insurance industry. And then you can just keep adding on to it later. That's the four steps. If I had to give like, if we had to repurpose this video and re-put it up later as a three minute video on YouTube, Four steps to earning seven figures. Have a goal. Is that the goal? Maybe it's bigger. Maybe it's eight figures. That's the next video, maybe. Goal. I got to get to eight figures first, but we'll get there. Goal. Have a goal. I had a goal. You guys have a goal. Like, and, and if you don't have a goal, like that's a freaking problem. Have a goal. Break down the numbers. What does it look like? It's $4,000 a day. Five, five days in a week. 4K per day. Can you make 4K today? Can you make 4K tomorrow? Can you make 4K the day after that? 
and then Thursday and Friday as well. Look, believe it or not, that's too, I mean, it's, it's two, it's, it's, it's two grand every morning, two grand every, every afternoon. You get to hang out with your family on the nights and weekends if you want to. 4K a day, night 20 grand a week. It just grows. But you got to know those numbers first because I'm always someone that like backs it down. Okay, if it's 4K a day and I make about $800 per cell, right? So then there's 4,000 divided by 800. Oh, wow, I just need five cells a day. Okay. I mean, once you start breaking it down that way, that, that kind of way, not only does it make you have a goal, know your numbers, but you start to like believe in it. When I start breaking stuff down and I see the possibility and the potential and I start breaking it down, it starts to get me excited about the outcome. The potential of reaching that goal and getting to where I want to go, that starts getting me excited about it. Know your numbers. The niche. What is your niche? Like, and I'm, when I talk about niche, I'm talking like, you know, PNC, Medicare, life, final expense, you know, annuities, whatever, right? So, to, like, have a, have a product niche and like a, or even like a, or even like a niche of prospects, right? Because it's easier, it's real easy to fail if you're going after all of these different people and it's really easy to succeed if you're like, that's my audience. I'm gonna be the best at getting that audience's attention and the best at converting to that audience. Okay? So niche, like think about your niche. What are you the best at? And then how are you going to sell them? Are you going to do it over the phone? Are you going to do it face to face? Are you going to do it with a team? Start to think of how am I going? What's the different ways? Like there's several different ways that we just mentioned that you can sell to that niche. What does that look like and how do you get there? That's the four steps. I mean, I always I always bring up a fifth step which is like, hey, be consistent about it, you know. Dude, once, you're, once, you're, once you have a goal and once you're focused and once you know what you need to do, it's easier to be consistent because you can see the big picture in mind of, hey, I want to make seven figures. And to a lot of people, seven figures sounds way too big. It just does. And that's, that was the first step. Once I started realizing that it was way easier to make seven figures than I thought, it forced me to start thinking bigger. Then I'm like, how do I go to eight figures? All right, after that, how do I go to nine figures, right? So, so it's, it's like, it's just a, it's a thinking big thing. Uh, there's a chance we do eight figures this year. If I would have been thinking so small back then, I would have never even thought it was possible. Like, I used to think I want to be a millionaire by the age of 30. Dude, I want to, like, screw that. <laughs> screw that. I want a lot more, as, as you should too. So when you're thinking about Seven figures of the insurance industry. There's a lot of people that don't think that's possible. But I'm here to tell you it is. We've, here's what I used to think. Here's what I know now. Here's the numbers. And there's the steps that can get you there. But you got to be thinking, how can I get there? And you got to be thinking about, how do I get there now? Like, you're like, oh, well, I need money to start this and do this. Well, are you, do you know you're going to succeed? Yes. Then find the money. Find the cash. Like, just, oh, oh I need great people. But, but great people are hard to find then find them. Like, figure out the things that are in your way and freaking crush through them. And then you'll get those out of the way and you'll be able to get exactly where you want to go. Dylan, any, uh, I want all these people to be at call to close. Any, any comments, questions, thoughts as we're going through this live on Facebook and YouTube? I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing. Like, I do this to help you, but it means a lot. Like, all the kind words and the nice stuff that we get. People send books and you know, I sent some blankets to some people that I appreciate, that, that, or my, my wife did, um, with their logos on them and stuff. And at the end of the day, it's like, man, I love doing this. I really do. This is my, this, this, this is, I, I feel like everybody's got a gift. Steve Harvey always says everybody's like that gift. Most people don't know what their gift is. My, my gift's, you know, 
being able to break stuff down so to help you succeed. So, nothing? Nope. Not a ton going up. Okay, cool. We got people watching, but Th thank just, you for uh, watching. Just learning today. I hear you. Steven on Facebook says great video. You marked you mic'd up? Yeah. Steven, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Dude, this this is a this is so possible. Most people just don't think it is, man. It's it's so possible though. Uh, two things that if you get a chance to take advantage of, you know, I would like for you to do this. Um, I'd like for you to be a part of the call to close. We've got about 14 more seats available, I think, by um, Thursday night. 14 seats left, and maybe a little, a couple less now, but about 14 seats. We've opened it up for a lot more people. We have 14 seats left. It's a three-hour live training where I help you know everything from the call to the close so that you're able to be successful. It's 97 bucks. You can go to CodyAskins.com to be a part of that three-hour live training. We're going to do it together. Um, and then the other thing is, I want you to hang, come hang out with me in Dallas. I was thinking about, I spent about three hours last night thinking about the agenda, the speakers, what they were going to train on. And I can tell you, Apris Nation this year, more than ever, is going to be focused on helping agents and providing specific targeted training that you can immediately watch on stage, take notes on, and then go back and implement into your business right away. So, a presentation, the value will far supersede whatever you pay to get there. Any thoughts, DC? Uh, we had a couple questions on YouTube just come in if you want to cool. answer them. Let's do it. Uh, Josh and Miranda Vlogs okay. um, ask, I'm new to the insurance I'm new to insurance, what should I start selling first? They're not new to vlogging. Uh, what should I start selling first? Um, I started in life and health, uh, mostly life. And it's the toughest way to succeed, but I wouldn't change it because like 92% of agents fail. If it's just life insurance agents, it's worse than that. Like if they only sell life, it's worse. Like it's low, it's way, it's like 95, 98. I mean, it's bad. Um, I started out life and health, mainly life. It was tough, but it taught me that if I could succeed selling life, I could succeed selling anything. There's a lot of different things. You just gotta figure out like, what are you great at? Are you a salesperson? Are you a connector? Are you uh, like, what's your gift? Are you a relationship person? Are you someone that just outworks everyone? Are you phenomenal on the phone? Like, like figure out what your gift is and figure out which product kind of aligns with that. So, great question. Thanks for Josh and Miranda Vlogs. I love that, thank you. What's the other one? Um, it was from Mariah Carla on okay. YouTube, and she asked, do you recommend buying leads? I'm new to this. Uh, I definitely, well, I mean, if you're in the life and or, medic, and or Medicare space, like final expense, stuff like that, absolutely. Uh, I mean, you need people to get in front of people. And I'm not just saying that because I own Secure Agent Leads, and we help about 2,000 agents a month. Um, I'm just saying that because you need prospects. Like the biggest reason agents fail, we got two brand new agents asking questions there. The number one reason why agents fail is they don't get in front of enough people every week. People are hard to get in front of. If appointments were easy, everyone in this business would succeed. The reason everyone fails is they don't sit with enough people. They don't run enough appointments. They don't have enough prospects. They don't buy enough leads. They don't call enough, right? So. If the right type of lead that fits with what with, that fits with your niche can help you get in front of people, yeah, without breaking the bank and you know something you can consistently do and rely on and be consistent about it. I mean, most people buy leads once or twice and they don't buy them again because they just aren't good yet and they don't know that it's them. They think it's the vendor. Um, the biggest thing is if it helps you get in front of people. And it does. I de depending on the niche, I definitely would. Like it's been a. It, it, I mean, agents that are earning half of. I mean, I would say a quarter of a million to 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 three quarters of a million dollars in the field. There's a lot of them out there. You say, well, you know, making 600k. There's a lot. Uh, they use leads. There's no other way. Like I don't know another agent making over a quarter of a million a year consistently. I don't know many that don't use leads. So, something to be said about that. Good question. Thanks for the comment. Ready to rock and roll?
You guys are awesome. I need. I want you to be at Call to Close. Go check it out. CodyAskins.com. Three hour live training. You get lifetime access to the recording. Even if you can't be there, you still get access to the recording for life. I want you to be there. 13 spots left now. CodyAskins.com for the Call to Close live training. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you watching. When you make seven figures, come tell me about it. I want to hear about it. Appreciate you guys. All right, I've been working on something new for you guys. Agents struggle, new agents, struggling agents, insurance agents fail. I'm doing a three hour live training course only for 30 people. What is it about? From the call when you pick up the phone, all the way until you close the business. I'm talking everything in between, the dozens of steps in between. When you jump into this live training course together, you get three hours, you get lifetime access to the recording, you get the workbook, and you get other discounts on our other training products. Agents fail, and it's because they don't know what to do from the call to the close. So on March 7th, we're gonna break it down together for three hours, and I'm gonna guarantee that you're successful for the rest of your life. I'm only doing it for 30 people. Will you be one of them?